Hello, and welcome to another episode of Footnotes, in which I recap the most ravishing language and ideas from the last week of Wired. First up today, we're taking a dive. Gadget Lab cataloged the sad decline of the patent drawing, which was once a beautiful illustration and has now become an aesthetic catastrophe. One of these patent drawings was for a diving dress. And no, this is not a fancy waterproof gown. It was the classic diving suit with a metal helmet and hoses running to the surface. So I suppose if you really wanted, you could drape a gown over the top of it. While the diving dress has been around in primitive forms for hundreds of years, its heyday was in the first half of the 20th century, when it was particularly popular among navies. It was eventually replaced by scuba gear, mostly because while wearing the 200 pound diving dress, sailors could only manage the strength to be the M in the rendition of the YMCA dance, and they were sick of it. As the diving dress era waned, the undisputed master of the medium emerged, Diver Dan. In his eponymous children's show, he walked along the seafloor talking to fish. Causing villainy were Baron Barracuda and his sidekick, Trigger, whose eyes were half closed not because he appears to be smoking reefer, but because he has bad allergies. Apparently all of these fish were messed up on allergy medication because they took an awkwardly long time to reply to each other. They had some use after all. Well, I'll see. Goldie would have been that, a poor fish. Or maybe they were just distracted by the clearly visible strings sprouting from their backs. Up next, a symbol so cute, it makes the exclamation and hash marks question their own sexuality. It's the loopy, the fluffy, the cozy, at sign. Wired Enterprise profiled a man by the name of Ray Tomlinson, who's responsible for the at symbol showing up in your email address. And he chose it because he said it was the only preposition on the keyboard, which is probably true, though it could turn out that the carrot is also a preposition, just as soon as somebody figures out what the hell a carrot is. The at symbol first showed up way back in the 16th century, when a merchant used it as an abbreviation for amphora, which was a measurement equal to about three gallons. By the time Ray Tomlinson adopted it for email, it had long been used to mean at a rate of, or more simply, at. Languages that hadn't used the at sign had to scramble to name it once email exploded, and they got pretty creative with it. In Denmark, where there are no elephants, it's called the elephant's trunk. In Germany, where there are no monkeys, it's called the monkey's tail. And in Kazakhstan, they call it the moon's ear, because, well, why not? There's even a way to express the symbol in Morse code, which is nice if you happen to be on a sinking ship and want to send one last email before joining Diver Dan and his slow-to-respond comrades. 